In this video, we'll be doing spider bite makeup, and this is spider bite makeup from a spider that bit you and you're having a really bad reaction. Now, let's get started and grab some makeup. We're going to start off this makeup look with some scar wax. I am using Sin Wax, it's a synthetic scar wax, and I really do find that this is best for going and applying makeup on top of it, plus it also looks really real. Go and use petroleum jelly to make sure that this isn't going to fully and totally stick to your fingers, and then you won't be able to really work it out very well. Roll this into a ball, and after it's rolled, go and put down a small amount of petroleum jelly onto your arm. This is going to really help the scar wax or the sin wax that you're using to go and stick in this area, plus make it so much easier to spread at the edges. Go and press this down, and then at the edges, put petroleum jelly onto your finger and start to blend it. Use a circular motion, but try not to go and stretch this too much because you want this to be pretty circular or oval in shape at the edges. It shouldn't be too jagged. Continue to blend the edges and use a circular motion. And after it's blended and smooth at the sides, go and wipe off any extra petroleum jelly with a paper towel or a napkin. After this is wiped off, then you're going to go and create an indent in the middle. Use a blunt sculpting tool for this and really press it down. Fill this in with red cosmetic. After it's filled in with red cosmetic, add in a small amount of black to the center. Go and blend this slightly. From there, wait for it to set or dry, use red powder cosmetic, and then go and brush it onto the top. When you're doing this and adding your cosmetic, make sure to tap off the brush a couple of times. And then go and add a darker red cosmetic to the sides. I'm using a makeup sponge, I do suggest this as well. I'm also using water activated makeup for this as well. After that is applied, you can go and use your finger and slowly blend it out and spread it. Make sure to not really press too much at the center where you have the scar wax. You don't want to go and move that around too much. Continue to use the sponge and add more of the red cosmetic. Create lines that branch out, and after you make a line, go and blend it before your cosmetic dries. These should be pretty thick, but you should also make some that are relatively thin as well. Now keep in mind this is supposed to be a spider bite, and when a spider sometimes bites you, which I have had a spider bite that looked very similar to this, you get these red lines that'll just go and branch up your body. And when this happens, you definitely need to go to a hospital and get medical attention, of course. But go and add lines with a paintbrush. These should be a bit thinner, and this should be where you've already put down the red cosmetic. Go and blend these out slightly. You don't want to blend them too much, though, because if you do, then it's not going to really fully and totally look right. Continue to go and blend out these lines that you've put down. And then go back and add in a little bit more red cosmetic to make it look even more inflamed. And your makeup should look a little something like this. And again, if you were ever bitten by a spider and it looks like this, please get medical attention as soon as possible. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe.